Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are on episodes 27 and 28 of my Amphibia Reaction series. These episodes are called Snow Day. I love a snow day. And Cracking Mrs. Kroger. And let's get watching. What do you call these again? Omelets. Very popular where I'm from. We'll see about that. <laughs> Holy crab apples! Until today, I've been eating garbage. Yeah, I kind of have. Is this a we gotta go now kind of thing, or can I finish eating? Take it to go in, because we gotta <laughs> sound the alarm. Okay. I just gotta separate the stuff so it retains the flavors and doesn't get soggy. Come on, on. Man, gotta move on. <laughs> the temperature dip below the frog line, which means oh. Hyper Day is almost upon us. And when we thaw, we feel refreshed, rejuvenated, Viral. Hey, that's pretty cool. Well, it's not. Every oh. year, one townsperson disappears, never to be seen again. Oh, heck no. Possible goodbye, family. And of course, maybe Anne and can see not away so fast. We're unfrozen and keep an eye on everything. Yeah, I don't follow. Um, hello. <laughs> I'm warm blooded. That's gross, Anne. It means I won't freeze. <laughs> We would get a classic spray comedic line as I'm mid sip of coffee. You've gone from town beast to town protector. Big fan of that narrative. You ever feel like that, guys? Guys, what? <gasps> oh, oh no! What the heck? Happened early. This can't be good. Everybody's all over the place by now. We How am I gonna get the to... to get in another shoe for the that was surprisingly easy. Right, Town protect jacket. Hey yo! And now all I have to do is <laughs> no show. Show. Do, 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 do. And eye on the prize, baby. I'm gonna need to thaw someone out. Let's see. Eeny meeny miny sprig. <laughs> Phew, this is harder than I thought. Thaw ready sprig. Oh, I wouldn't mess with their natural wow. process. You okay, dude? Eyes awake, yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's thaw out the other girl. Uh, I'm thinking we should let nature run its course. Yeah. Since you're already awake anyways, let's go have some fun. We've got the whole town to ourselves. Let's do it! No, let him go back to sleep. Hey, Frank, get <laughs> <It's> miserable. <laughs> it's time for a little protector duty. Let's do a head count. Make sure everyone is still here. Polly, check. Ivy, Polly? <gasps> Polly? Oh no, my god, no, I no, missed no, no. it the first time. She's gone! What? what kind of protector am I? Polly's in that creepy cave. Of course she is. Well, I don't love this. More bones! You know, no matter how long Always I'm in this world, with the I'll never bones. get used to the piles of bones just lying around. <laughs> Yay! Same, man. <laughs> Maybe we could ask this lady. Excuse <laughs> me, miss. <laughs> I feel like that thing is too feral to be strategically plucking the frogs from town. Oh, wow, no, it windy. didn't. What the? Whoa. <laughs> to be uh -huh. forbidden. You'll all starve. Unless... The omelet? <laughs> Perfect. Maybe just a little more. <laughs> now that's a protector. Uh, I was a terrible town protector, you guys. I slacked off when I should have been watching you. I unfroze Sprig when I got bored. I'm fine. You admitting that means you're more responsible than you think. Really? Aww. Yeah, if you hadn't fessed up, we never would have known anything happened. No, yeah, sure. it's true. That's a good point. Well... Anne has certainly come a long way since she first arrived in Amphibia. Like Sprig said, from town beast to town protector. It definitely didn't happen overnight, but through the course of this season, the townspeople have learned to really trust her, and I feel like she's just as much a part of their community as anyone else is now. I'm very interested to see where season two will take us, because at this point, I feel that we've established such a relationship is 
isn't the exact word I'm looking for, but kind of a relationship between Anne and Wartwood and also with the planters. And so even if the planters went with Anne to journey over the mountain and they end up finding new communities and places filled with other frogs or amphibians there, I feel as though it wouldn't have the same charm that we found in Wartwood because we know all of these characters now. But I also feel that that could add to a sort of feeling of homesickness for us as an audience if we spent maybe season two away from Wartwood and then came back during season three. I'm making so many predictions and I'm pretty sure this is not how any of this is gonna go, but it does just make me curious that this season has sort of been leading up to going over the mountain, but is that what's actually gonna happen? I don't know, we shall see. And now let's get watching Cracking Mrs. Croker. I had a terrific time. <laughs> oh, come here, you little chum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh getting on mom's All right, side. See ya. He's always been something of a town favorite. Those big eyes and goofy grin are hard to resist. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, except Mrs. Croker. Hi, Mrs. Croker. That was weird. Guys, you aren't going to believe this, but I don't think Mrs. Croker likes me. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Why is that me? Anytime I see a mean comment, I need everyone to love me. Dang, no, she's stone gold. Mrs. Croker, come back! <laughs> Acknowledge me. <laughs> that was the saddest thing I've ever seen. And I've seen some things. How can I fix this? <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what, Anne? You're right. I can't just let this go. I have to get Mrs. Croker to like me. And I can't do that unless I know more about her. Fact-finding mission engaged! <laughs> I'm going to break into her house, search through her belongings, find the key to her secret wishes, and make them all come true. And this is totally different. This is about me. I'm totally likable. Well, you can be a bit... Go on. <laughs> also... <laughs> all right, Mrs. Croker. Let's see what. Oh, all... look at that doll! What the? Mm -mm. Huh? Gross. Oh, it's uh -oh. been out forever. Oh. Whoa. Probably shouldn't put these in my mouth. No. Ah, I'm gonna do it. What? The... Hey, is that Mrs. Croker? Mrs. Croker has a long lost love! Jonah this, Jonah that, even a map of where he might be. Ooh, but it kind of looked like maybe she was after Jonah, investigating him or something. Come on out, Jonah, do I have a surprise for you? Eh? Oh. Well, who's there? You from the puzzle of the Mund Club? Nope, I'm here on behalf of Sadie Croker. I've been searching for Sadie for 30 years! Oh! I knew it! Now, can you tell me where she's been all this time? I'll do you one better! I'll take you right to her! I still don't trust this. Oh, do you think he is like a stalker, you guys? Who was the strange man attached to you? Him! <clears throat> this handsome bachelor <laughs> happens to be the fraud that is going to make Mrs. Croker like me forever. Name's Jonah. Okay, let's get the show on the road. Shady Croker, there's something I've been wanting to tell you for 30 years. Yes, yes, yes! Shady Croker. Prepare to die! Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> Jonah, this isn't romantic! The guild would surely take me back if I took you down, thanks to this weird little frog leading me I straight to one you. One of his eyes got all crazy. Uh, <laughs> I'll save you, Mrs. Croker! Cool. Oh. Step aside, I don't boy. Think she needs saving. Yes! Go! Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Put your clothes back on, you pervert! Woo! Yeah, Croker! Oh! oh. oh. This little bubble! Oh. Whoa. I wanted to get you to like me, so I kind of. Snuck into your house and secretly went through all your things. <laughs> the way what? the music just and goes rapidly down. And I thought he was your long lost love. <laughs> Jonah here don't like me. It's true. Plenty of people don't like those two. Well, hey, man. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I guess I can try and like you back. 
Hmm. Yeah, no, that's okay. You're right. Like me or don't yeah. like me, I'm fine. <laughs> that a kid. Well, well, well. Old Lady Daniels is a frog with a past. I kind of suspected that this was not going to be a love story only because in typical amphibia fashion, these things usually do not go as planned. But I did not expect Jonah to whip out that weapon and have even more under his coat. This show really does get dark when it wants to. But Old Lady Daniels held her own. She was whipping that cane, whipping it and working it. And she has little Archie looking out for her too. But oh my goodness, I found the premise of this episode to be so relatable. I've gotten much better about it these days than I was when I was younger, but younger me was quite the people pleaser. I really needed anyone and everyone to like me, which is obviously an impossible <laughs> mission. And I feel like when I would come across someone that didn't like me, I would try even harder to make them like me, which would then in turn make them like me even less. And especially if the thing that was turning them off in the first place is the fact that I'm quite earnest, then yeah, it just backfired. Terribly. But these days I've gotten much better about that. Sometimes you just gotta accept that people may or may not like you and most of the time it's not even personal. I mean, sometimes it is you too. And <laughs> then you just gotta deal with that. Oh, this is a fun one. Okay, question for the comment section. Would you rather have to eat Mrs. Croker's entire bowl of expired candy or spend a night during a thunderstorm in the dark? with the doll from her bedroom staring at you from across the way in her rocking chair. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. See, I asked it, but now I don't wanna answer it because that's a tough one for me because I'm a big chicken. Y'all know that, but I also have a very weak stomach, so... I might have to go with the doll and just remind myself over and over and over again that it is just a doll and it cannot hurt me. I hope. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to full-length reactions, early release to my videos, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash alishadweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.